I'm Tony Keith, and I'm the Christmas light guy. Wireless DMX? Is it possible? Yes, it is. In this tutorial, I will quickly explain what DMX is, how to set up DMX using X lights, and how to configure an ES Pixel Stick to control your DMX devices. Okay, let's get started. First, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail about DMX. I'm just going to give you an overview. There are many references available online for you to check out. So, what is DMX? It stands for Digital Multiplex. It's a serial communication standard or protocol referred to as DMX 512. And it's commonly used for stage lighting devices such as dimmers, static lights, strobe lights, floodlights, moving fixtures, and other devices such as fog machines and hazers. DMX 512 can control up to 512 channels and this is also referred to as a DMX universe or one universe. And it's also just transmitted with three wires. The connectors used on DMX devices are usually XLR5, which is five pin, or XLR3, which are three pin. Here's an example of an XLR five pin, female. Some other details of DMX, it can drive up to 32 devices and can travel up to 1300 feet. Devices on a DMX universe are daisy chained together. That means you plug the output from one device into the input of the next device. Each device should also have an address, a starting address, that isn't in the channel range of another device. For example, a DMX device uses 10 channels for control. Set the first device to channel 1. This means channels 1 through 10 are used for the first device. Your next device should start outside the range of 1 through 10. For example, the first device set to DMX address 1, the second device would be set to DMX address 11, and the third device would be set to DMX address 21, so on and so forth. It is typical to start the next device at the next available channel, but it's not necessary. You can skip channels. Now I've given you a brief overview of DMX. Let's look at how to configure DMX and X lights. First of all, you will need your DMX channel mapping guide for your device. It is usually located in your user manual of your DMX device. The channel mapping guide tells you what each channel controls. Today, I will be configuring a DMX moving light fixture and a color wash fixture that I will use as a floodlight. Here is the channel mapping for the moving light fixture. Your DMX device may have different control channels. Most devices have different modes or multiple modes. For example, 15 channel mode or 25 channel mode, where the more channels, the more features or options that you have control of. Most DMX devices have a panel display with a menu to set the address and the mode and other settings such as these. Please refer to your user manual for further instructions. Let's start by setting up the ES Pixel Stick. I'm going to start with the ES Pixel Stick already uploaded with version 4.0 firmware and it's able to connect to my wireless network. Open a browser and use the IP address to pull up the setup pages. Here is the home page. From there, go to the device setup page. First, change the primary input to DDP. Next, select output 1 to DMX. And then I'll update the number of channels to 100. That should be plenty for my setup. Now open X lights. Starting with a clean slate, go to the controllers tab. Click on discover. It found my ES Pixel Stick controller, but the name isn't correct. I'm going to click on Discover again. I'm not sure why. Perhaps this is a bug. Now it has the correct name. Next, turn off Auto Layout Models and Auto Upload Configurations. All the other settings are correct. OK, save the changes. Next, go to the Layout tab. Click on the DMX model and it will give you a menu. 
Next I select the DMX floodlight, drop and drag to expand the size. My floodlight has eight channels. Red is on channel two. Green is on channel three. Blue is on channel four. White is on channel five. And the shutter is the dimmer and it's on channel one. Next go to strand node names. A window appears, update strand name to channels. Then update each node names with the correct channel description. My floodlight has RGB, white, amber, and UV. Next I will click on the DMX model menu and select DMX moving head, the 2D version. Drop and drag to expand the size and position it. Change the number of channels to 15. Change the style moving head side view. This is where you will need your DMX fixture channel mapping. Next I will set the pan to channel 1, tilt to channel 3, update the tilt rotation to 250 degrees, set red to channel 7, set green to channel 8, set blue to channel 9, set white to channel 10, set the shutter to channel 5. Next go to the strand node names. A window appears, update the strand name to channels. Then update each node names with the correct channel description. My moving fixture has features such as strobe, macros, and speed settings. Your moving fixture may have other features such as gobo or prism. Next go to the controllers tab. Click on visualize. First, I will drag the floodlight model onto the pixel port since it has a starting DMX address of 1. Next, I will drag the moving fixture model after the floodlight. This will assign the moving fixture to channel 9 since my floodlight is using the first 8 channels. Currently, X-Lights isn't properly handling the serial port assignment and upload output, so do not click on upload output. However, it will assign the correct DMX channels to your fixtures. Next, go to the Sequencer tab. I will create a new animation sequence with a timing track named DMX. Twenty frames per second, thirty seconds long, and auto add the models. Notice when you double click on the models, it will show you the channels, and then double click on the channels, it will show you the descriptions of each channel. This is very convenient when sequencing. Next, I will add a couple timing marks. Now, I will drag the DMX effect onto the flood. Turn up the dimmer, turn up red, enable the output, and we have lights. You can see that green and blue also work. Next I will drop DMX effect on the moving head. Make some adjustments here. Change the pan. Move the tilt. Oh, a little bit too much. Back. Turn up the dimmer. Set it to green. I'll take this, copy it. Make some changes.
move the pan. Change the tilt. Change green to blue. I will copy the flood effect onto the next timing mark. Change it to blue. Now let's go see if we can run this sequence. Stop it. Start from beginning. And once I press run, you can see that it is running and moving. We have full control over the lights at this point. As I have demonstrated, an ES Pixel Stick can drive DMX devices using X lights and a wireless connection. I have personally and successfully used ES Pixel Sticks in a professional outdoor lighting show where DMX lights were synchronized and lighting trees that lined a very long street. If you've enjoyed this tutorial and would like to see more, please subscribe to my channel, The Christmas Light Guy.